please welcome the legendary Jennifer Lewis. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. All I know is Jack's back. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's back. All I know is Jack's back. My mama said that Jackie's been around the block. My sister said she ran, she's down at home. My brother and my daddy said we better not kill my mom. You know, I talk. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. This is where I learned from Jennifer Lewis. This is, bitch, you look good. I never used that word a day in my life. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> oh, girl. honey, congratulations! Oh. And look at you, you. Look at that. When I tell you. Every time I see you, it is joy. Oh. That's all you radiate. And Thank I you. this is what I, I remember seeing you one day and you said, I was born with this gift. And I tried my best to honor it. Yes. What did you mean by that? Well, you know, I've been doing this since I was a kid. I mean, I'd come in the room at five years old and everybody go, here come little Jenny Lewis. And I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, I sang my first solo in church. I always tell this story. I was five years old, sang my first solo in church, and from the reaction of the congregation, I just stood there with my thumb in my mouth, honey. I was like, oh, this is life. <laughs> and I never looked back. <laughs> you walked out to the theme of Jackie's back. Which you did in 19, around 1994. 1994, so it is 23 years later. Did you even think that this would become a cult classic? I didn't know, but I knew we had fun doing it. Yes. I didn't know, you know, like, even with What's Love Got To Do With It. Yes. We didn't know it was gonna be that good. Yes. You never know when you do your performance in TV and movies because the editor has control. Yes. That's why I love Broadway and theater more than anything, because that is the moment. But Jackie's back, my God, you know the gays, honey. <laughs> the gays, baby. <laughs> they know every line from Jackie's back. Yes. Their favorite is, my daughter's name is Entendre, right? <laughs> and I go, hey, yeah, make it a double Entendre. <laughs> <laughs> They love the movie. And every year on July 15th, they have parties. They dress up as Jackie, Entendre, and uh, it's like Rocky Horror yes. Picture Show. Yes, but yeah, is. I want to thank all of you guys. And no, we can't do no, Jackie's no. Back 2. <laughs> because the people, listen, the people who own uh, the movie, uh, they're no more. Oh. So we can't find that contract. They say it's in a in a warehouse in Brooklyn oh, somewhere. Girl, it's all right. I'm getting ready to do some stuff. Hey. I know that's right. I know this is right. I want to know when you woke up, you have a ritual in the morning that you do. <laughs> Did you do your ritual this morning? Girl, you know I do this ritual every morning. OK. I brush my teeth. That's right. I spit it up. I go, mm, mm. <laughs> and then I lean forward. And I pause, and I tell myself, mmm, pretty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you, y your confidence is amazing. I, I think when I first started comedy is when I met you, and you said, bitch, you want to come over to my house and watch me. You wanted to, to watch some of your shows. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, she's so confident. Yeah. Where I've been it... doing it so long, Sherry. I've been doing it, like I said, since I was five. It's almost like I came in here with this, this charisma. That, you know, it's called the it factor. You yes. have it. You have the it factor. Oh. Yes. And, oh. um, yeah, it's, um, it, it, it's magical, and I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes it's a burden to have all of this, this, <laughs> you know, 
you know, beauty and fame and fabulousness, and now adding joy, walking in my joy. I mean, yes. who has the audacity to write a book called Walking in My Joy? But let me tell you something. Takes a lot of work to do it. Don't think it comes easy. We were not promised yes. a rose garden without thorns. Mm. Huh? Believe. So with that said, we were not promised a rose garden with thorns. For all of the, the young girls out here, they are steeped in, I want them to like me. I need the approval. How do you tell them how to have that confidence and be their authentic self? Because, you know, they want to be liked. It's authority. It's so much coming at these young girls now. Hey, guys, uh, listen. Human beings have one job. Mm. Self-care. Take care of yourself so that when the people you love fall, your arms will be strong. Mm. Don't keep, no, let me get through this. Let me get through this. We are as sick as our secrets. Mm. Don't hold no secrets in. If you've been touched, baby, tell somebody. Mm. Don't hold that in and eat yourself to death and drink yourself to death and be in those dark rooms. See, I have bipolar disorder. Yes. I know about depression and mania. Don't do it. Go and take care of yourselves. Life, guys, life is beautiful. Yeah. I've been all over the world. I've been uh, fortunate enough to see half the world, including Antarctica, Antarctica M Mongolia, um, uh, Jesus, Egypt. I've been everywhere. Uzbekistan, just got back from, oh my God, Cambodia, Angkor Wat. Just got back from Kathmandu, Nepal, where I yeah. saw Mount Everest. Come on, y'all. Look, wait a minute, wait a minute. A little poor girl from Kenlock, Missouri, standing in front of Petra in Jordan, the Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. And I stand there and I say, look at you, baby. Live it and love it. Live it and love it. Live while you live. If that's not a word. <laughs> This is why I, this is why we need you, Jennifer. This is why you cannot quit. I know that you had said you were almost going to retire right yes. after Blackish yeah. was done. You're not thinking of that, are well, you? Well, you know, COVID, um, at, when it first started, we all contemplated our death. Yeah. We didn't know what this thing was. We didn't know. And so I had an opportunity to look in the mirror. Mm. and say, Jenny, what you want? What if you had, what if you knew you had five minutes left? <sighs> Who would you call? Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, I'm dramatic, but I live every day as if it's my last. Yeah. Wow. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, listen, I love life because I came through bipolar disorder, sexual addiction, uh, abuse from, from childhood. I, I fought for my happiness. I didn't want to be depressed yeah. and get out on stage and wear a mask as the diva. Like when I got the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, I told people it was the work I did off stage, off camera. I went and took care of myself. And now I can enjoy the fruits of my labor, darling. And not only are you enjoying the fruits of your labor, this is why we love you so much, because you still give out these gems and nuggets of wisdom. And everything you say, everything you do is going viral to a generation of younger people. How is that making you feel, Jennifer? I am gonna say this. Um... And I want to look right in the camera and say it. This, is, this administration is taking our rights away as we sleep. As we sleep, we've got to pay attention. 
We've got to vote. That's what my songs are about. Yes. I just got a con artist. I was involved in a romance scam. I just got him eight years. Oh, you did. <laughs> yes. Yes. I listen. I kept a, con a, a private eye on him for five years. He went after three other women. My private eye got enough evidence to call the FBI. They got the third girl to wear a wire, mm. and they got him. And baby, the judge was gonna give him four years because it was a nonviolent crime. But after I read my victim statement. Yes, <laughs> yes. After, <laughs> after I read my victim statement, telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God, with dramatic tears. Mm. <laughs> you gotta understand, you gotta be honest. You can't be great and lie your way to it. You can't lie your way to greatness. You got to tell the truth and you got to be honest. See, I know that. That's why I'm free, because I take responsibility for my choices. Listen, I'm not perfect. Hey, okay? I this morning, too. Don't start with me. Yeah, I said it, because we all did. So I'm human but I know who I am, and I fight for my happiness, having been depressed for 35 years of my life before I went into therapy and took care of myself. Ain't no shame in my game, y'all. I ain't got no secrets. All so right. don't come for me.